Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what do you think this is? Uh, talking about a, a wonderful herb, and this is a capsule. Doesn't really have any smell. Let's open one of these up and see what it tastes like. Maybe good, maybe not. <laughs> Well, kind of has a nutty flavor and really, you know, yeah, nutty flavor and just kind of mild, really doesn't have a whole lot of flavor uh, in it, but uh, as far as the capsule goes, but this is sarsaparilla, you know, you know, the old Western, you know, the uh, cowboy goes up to the bar and he says, I want a sarsaparilla, you know what I mean? <laughs> and I, that has been true for a long time. Actually, uh, this is a plant that grows actually all over the world in tropical areas, and it even grows here, too. Uh, it's a long, vining plant. It gets up to 50 feet long, and the roots are usually used for the, the, the extracts and uh, making the powders and, and the capsules and tinctures, and it really has a huge amount of uh, benefits and there's over 300 scientific papers talking about the benefits and how it can really help in a great way and it's used in traditional Chinese medicine for thousands of years also and it's been used in uh, medicine herbal medicine in South America Central America you know Caribbean and Jamaica it's found in even in the southern US also uh, also in Central America and as in Asia as well too, so all kinds of different ones. It has light green flowers, and uh, like I said, the roots are used, and it's, uh, like I said, over 300 scholarly articles. It was discovered by Charles Hires. Uh, he actually found the medicinal qualities by looking at what was going on with all these traditional medicines, and he decided to put it into his root beer, you know, root, Hires root beer. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, from there it went crazy and it you know had all kinds of medicinal qualities to it nowadays you know sarsaparilla is not sarsaparilla anymore it really they make it with artificial flavors and colors so it's not the same thing it really is not sarsaparilla as far as the drink goes you know as far as the capsules and tablets and powders and tinctures and that type of thing even getting in the roots you can get that uh, and have the real deal there's no doubt about it contains a lot of powerful uh, antioxidants caflosemic acid uh, fluoric acid sapphiric acid quercetin kemphorol and keeps going on and on and on trace minerals, lots of minerals in general, has a lot of chromium and iron, magnesium, calcium, zinc, and selenium. It has a lot of great plant sterols also, which are really good for the body in general and also helps to balance hormones and is actually blocks estrogen from getting in, so it helps to prevent cancer, so it's a great thing. We'll get into cancer more uh, here in a minute. Like I said, lots of trace minerals. Uh, also has a lot of different names. It's called Similac Officialis, Similac Officialis. I have that down below so you can look at that spelling. Also, it has a huge amount of different types of Similac, uh, species. And so they, and they have slightly different changes to them. Also, it's also known as Sarparna Similac and a lot of different other common names throughout the world, Zarsparilla, uh, Sarsa, Bakuya, all kinds of different names. So there's a few hundred different names with this actual plant. Lots of antioxidants, helps with free radicals. Uh, Astilabin is one of the powerful antioxidants that are actually in this wonderful herb. And I highly recommend it. I take it myself, you know, every once in a while. It is really good for those who are aging and needs more energy and has dozens of things that help with stress and anti-aging also. Like I said, lots of saponins and plant sterols and lots of flavonoids. Helps with arthritis. If you want to get away from arthritis to joint pain and swelling and redness and that type of thing, this can help you in a great way. And a lot of studies showing that also. 
Also helps with gout and gets rid of that redness and tenderness. Boy, it's one of the worst things you have to go through. It's uh, anti-cancer benefits in great ways, and I'll get more into that. Helps with stuffy noses and sinus congestion. Helps with sore throats. All these antioxidants help with in that great way. Helps to balance hormones in your body because all the plant sterols, which are great. If you watch the movie, well, The Game Changers, you'll actually see in that segment, it actually shows how plant sterols and uh, actually tofu and, and soy and that type of thing, organic, of course, help to block estrogen. So it's a really great thing. Also increases sperm count. Uh, good old sarsaparilla does. Helps with toenail fungus and uh, ringworm topically. If you can put it on your toenails and uh, on your fingernails and that type of thing, it can help with those uh, type of infections and all kinds of different things. Also, it's been used by weightlifters to gain muscle and actually help to balance those hormones, get the testosterone going and balance it, you know, everything in the progesterone and those type of things to balance in the body for women, that type, type, that type of thing. So there are some people, you find it a lot of muscle gaining formulas. They really use it a lot. So you give it a shot and see how it works for you. Some people say it works, some people say it doesn't. So I'm not gonna say either way. I find it really as good as an anti-aging compound. I think it is one of the best. Helps with skin problems. I mean, tell you, it, it's great for psoriasis. A study in New York showed that uh, over a 60 year process of looking at people with psoriasis and giving them sarsaparilla, they actually had a decrease by up to 40 to 50 percent of itching, redness, um, blotches, and peeling. So man, that's a big thing, really. Also good for, has a lot of fiber in it also, which is uh, helps with the promotion of probiotics in our body. So we've got to have a good home for those good bacteria. And we've got to have a lot of fiber. And this helps a good lot of fiber, you know, great amount of fiber, which helps in a great way. Like I said, it helps with aging in general. It also helps with headaches because it has the anti-inflammatories in it. So that's really great. It lowers blood pressure. Anytime you can get rid of, you know, inflammation in the body, inflammation in the vessels, it can uh, allow them to be more flexible and that way we can lower blood pressure. Increases sex drive. A lot of people find that also. And uh, you find that in a lot of libido uh, uplifting uh, formulas that you find on the market now, a lot of sarsaparilla and uh, also helps the, with autoimmune disease in general. And autoimmune disease is the biggest disease in the world now. So this is a great thing. Also, a nice thing about sarsaparilla it has no side effects whatsoever. So really great. Also, it's an antifungal and antibacterial. It helps to kill st uh, Staphylococcus, uh, E. coli, uh, salmonella and you know, lots of different fungal infections also you can do put it on you know the area where it has a fungus also helps with fatigue especially with older people and if you're feeling fatigued you might want to take some sarsaparilla it does a great job anti-inflammatory as i said and so if you have an inflammation going on anywhere in your body i highly recommend you take some sarsaparilla because it Instead of the stuff that you're taking over the counter, it has a lot of side effects. This has no side effects, so it doesn't really even make sense to, you know, take those others. Also, with cancer, uh, it showed that there was 24 different extracts that they used of all kinds of parts of the uh, plant itself, and they found that it actually killed cancer cells and didn't, especially the colon cancer cells, and didn't affect any of the other cells. So. Yeah, that's a great thing. It doesn't help, you know, hurt the, the cells around the body that are not, you know, cancer, but it kills the cancer cells and actually uh, slows the growth of the tumor in general. So, wow. A study in Australia showed that it had a whole bunch of saponins that actually, and two special ones that are named after sarsaparilla too, and they kill cancer cells and uh, actually studies around to you know, catch those little cancer cells that might be lingering later too. So that's that's a really good thing. Study in China showed it actually inhibited the growth of cancer 
and without hurting other cells. So that's a great thing. Uh, also, it protects the liver in a great way, like an adaptogen, and helps with uh, getting rid of toxins in the liver and getting rid of liver disease in general. And lots of uh, acids and uh, plant sterols and antioxidants that help with that process in general. It also is a detoxing agent for the liver and it's also good for the kidneys as far as it's a really great diuretic and you know, you'll pass a lot of urine if you take uh, sarsaparilla, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> yeah, helps to get rid of chemicals and endotoxins and all kinds of stuff and helps with fluid retention. If you have, you know, puffiness anywhere in your body and you know, accumulating fluid in your, your legs, you might want to take some sarsaparilla also swelling and bloating, that type of thing in your stomach. It also helps with that. Helps with uh, erectile dysfunction and help because it helps to balance hormones. So that's a really good thing and helps to build up sex drive. Also helps with menopause and the symptoms of menopause. So if you, because of the natural plant steroids in it, it helps with aging in general. And uh, also with like fenugreek and the many other, the other, um, natural agents. It really helps with uh, hormones in general in our body. And weight lifters also find it. It helps to gain muscle mass. Helps with colds and flus, anything that has a whole bunch of antioxidants and flavonoids and uh, saponins are really going to help with the cold and flu and shorten it in, Jude, in general. And so if you, and it can actually help with the symptoms too. So that's really important. So we're going into the cold and flu you know, season of the year. So have some sarsaparilla around. It's really inexpensive. It's just about, you know, you can buy it on Amazon and eBay and other places online. And at your health food store, they've had it for I mean, decades. So uh, be sure to allow yourself to prevail about that and go and buy some. Uh, helps with coughing. It actually helps to make the mucus less sticky and you can cough it up. So that's a really good thing. Helps with nausea. You know, a lot of people who get nausea, in fact, I have one particular person I'm going to send this to because she has a liver problem and uh, she ends up with nausea quite a bit and she uh, actually doesn't get along with ginger. So this is a really great product for her. Good for mucus and, uh, and coughs in general. Good for rashes, a lot of studies showing that it helps with redness and swelling and pain and good for psoriasis in general, and also insect bites too. Good for stomach aches and indigestion and gas. And uh, in general, like I said, uh, if you have one of these, you know, you ate too much or ate the whole thing, <laughs> you might want to take a little bit of uh, sarsaparilla that will help in general. Also, sarsaparilla helps with, like I said, psoriasis in, in a great way. It's been used a lot in, uh, by companies for beverages and, and food flavoring for ever and ever. It's reused in traditional Chinese medicine. It's called Tu Fu Ling. That's T-U-F-U-L-I-N-G. T-U-F-U-L-I-N-G. And Tu Fu Ling. <laughs> <laughs> and it eliminates toxicity, resolves uh, joint problems and muscle spasms, helps with dampness in the body, uh, jointness, joint problems, the skin problems, helps with lupus and Lyme disease and leptospirosis in Chinese medicine. Also helps with herpes and because it boosts up our immune system. And it does go across the blood brain barrier and there's not a lot that does that. So it can also help with a lot of different things like Lyme disease and all kinds of stuff. So it's amazing what it can do. It's been used in, as a food. Some, some people in the, in the world actually pickle the root and eat it that way. It's very tasty actually, the people tell me. Uh, also it's, now, it does not actually contain testosterone, but it helps to balance testosterone in our body. If you have your, you know, have low T, you may want to take some sarsaparilla root. It will help in general. Forms you can get it in, it's in capsules and tablets and tinctures and powders and uh, all kinds of forms. Where do you find it? Your local health food store. We normally have it. If they don't have it, you can uh, have them order it. 
and also on Amazon and eBay and all kinds of different places. The dosage, uh, about a half teaspoon of the powder or uh, and up to 15 to, the, to 60 grams a day. For cancer, patients from 500 to 750 grams daily. For as a tincture from two to four milliliters of the tincture three times a day. Uh, one teaspoon of the dried root actually in water and pour in hot water and let it steep for 15, excuse me, 30 minutes. This has to steep a little longer. And I let, drink that three times a day. That's really great also. And it really has no side effects. It really doesn't hurt anything. And But I shouldn't be taken by those who are pregnant or nursing where, you know, it's been used for, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. But it really, we uh, also want to err on the safe side when it comes to unborn children. So allow yourself to take and enjoy some sarsaparilla. It's really great stuff. I highly recommend it. Uh, I think it's really important. Uh, I don't take everything all the time. I, I think it's uh, really not a good idea. Switch on and off from different things. Take, you know, sarsaparilla for seven to ten days. Switch on to something else. Maybe you want to take a astragalus for a while and then come back to sarsaparilla. Uh, it is really a great way to do that. And switch on to different things. And if you want to get a hold of me, my phone number is 831-869-9119. Eight three one eight six nine nine one one nine. My email is dr paul hater as d r p a u l h a i d e r at gmail dot com. That's dr paul hater at gmail dot com. My website is www.paulhater.com. dot com. And if you would like to do a consult with me, and that gives you one year's with a connection with me of doing consults for fifty dollars and feel free to do that and we can get you going i just had a man who lives in maryland and he had a, a blood sugar over 200 even though he was taking medications oral medication and they wanted to put him on insulin but he refused to do that also he had RA, a rheumatoid arthritis, and he had just been on my process that I put him on. We we're doing a consult together a week, and now his blood sugar has already dropped down to 130, and in within another week, I'm, I'm sure we're going to get down to the normal range, and he's going to be great, and his RA, is, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, has already totally disappeared, and he's no longer taking his medication. So really great stuff, and I'm really excited for him and really proud of him. I applaud him in general. Uh, and so if you want to get in the pink, you want to be really great, you know, feel free to contact me, and we let's get going to get you really, really healthy and move in the right direction toward extreme health and vitality all your life. You don't have to get old and decrepit and that type of thing. You can feel healthy all your life. So have a wonderful day. Remember God and remember, I love you.